Hold it right there, murderer. You're not going any place. For all we know, this fire is your doing. You're blaming me? After all the times, I've risked my life for this stinking city. Alrighty. So, it's been a while. So, I decided to revisit this game to see if, ha if it has improved ever since the Hawkeye and the Black Panther that's coming out. So, let's find out. So, Marvel's Avengers fans will have to fight tears over the release of the final MCU suit. And, yeah. The good news is, on the bright side, however, we finally got... Give me a sec. So, yeah. We finally got Captain America's sexy, badass MCU suit. Wish they finally have a proper shield. So, yeah. Finally, we got Captain America's MCU skin with the shield. So, yeah. All that said and done, at least we got some good content. Sure, we had some awesome gold, well, tiny pieces of candy for last year's. March, we got Hawkeye. April, May, June, Cosmic Cube. And later next month, we're gonna get Omega Level Threat. And we're going to... And in August, we're getting Wak War for Wakanda. And let me tell you, it's about time we got the Black Panther skin. Just imagine. Just imagine if they never made Black Panther in time. If they didn't even make Black Panther in time for Marvel's Avengers, then let me tell you, the game itself would be screwed up from the get-go. Although the future is looking bright for Marvel's Avengers, even though... Oh man, that's a sick, badass Iron Man suit. Like, my, the only one favorite part I like about the game is this Iron Man suit. We already got an Endgame Iron Man suit, but this one... This could be a vision if the MCU went for a more comic book accurate style. I like it a lot. But hey, on the bright side, at least we got the Endgame Iron Man suit. Okay, let's make it a little bit... Make me a little sad after the whole ending of Endgame. Let's continue. Although Marvel's Avengers does look, still has some promise and hope, and hopefully the game itself will be revived, hopefully or doubt it. Although the future is looking bright for Marvel's Avengers, but there is still one thing that's definitely pissing not just me, but other people as well. And you'll see what I mean immediately. Okay, for new to my channel, I, I'm gonna explain. Well, the good news is we're getting Spider-Man in the Marvel's Avengers. That is very cool. I'm excited to play as him. But here is the most frustrating, frustrating, frustrating thing ever. I hate Sony. So much. To be honest with you, I really, really don't think this is a good idea. Spider-Man exclusive for PlayStation. Like, Spider-Man is not just for PlayStation. He's for everyone as well. And the one thing that is frustrating, in my opinion, is... Sony's like, you want to play as Spider-Man? Sorry. <clears throat> let me get, let me rephrase that. Sony in a nutshell, you want to play a Spider-Man so badly in Marvel's Avengers? Buy it 500 or a $1,000 PS5! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. There is no goddamn way. I am never, never, never buying a PlayStation 5. Too bad. Screw you, Sony. Eat my shorts. Unless if we do a Reddit battle and fight for Spider-Man back, just like we did with Star Wars Battlefront 2 with the whole sense of pride and... Well, you guys already got... You guys know what I mean, and the whole story back in the day. So, yeah. That... This frustrates me, too. I don't want to buy a PS4 or a PS5. I'd rather get this game on my PC with... Along with Spider-Man. That's easy... That's a much more easier way than buying a $1,000 PS4 and a PS5. 
at least the game itself is finally shipping down and wait hold on <laughs> oh my god first split second there <laughs> Yeah, how about no? Thanks for the sweet deal, but I'd rather not buy it. <laughs> Cyberpunk is now $20 after the backlash. So yeah. Keep dreaming, Sody. I'm not buying any of your games. If I never had a Nintendo console, I would just choose Xbox. I love Xbox. Xbox, in my opinion, is a lord's better than PlayStation. They're more consumer-friendlier than Sony's. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Not just me, other people agree to it too. After all, Xbox was in second place in E3, so I'll give them credit. Good job. Here is my suggestion. If you want to buy a Marvel game that used to be $60 on a stupid freaking $1,000 PlayStation 5, here's, here's my better alternative choice. Buy Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order. The game got good reviews as well, almost less expensive -er than the P than the Marvel's Avengers, and get it on the Switch. And surprisingly, the Switch nowadays is no longer being expensive anymore. Just compare this to the PS5 price, holy crap. Now yes, now to be honest with you, I like gaming on the go. I rather play my games everywhere I go. Even if I did get a console, I would just put it in a suitcase, and take it with me everywhere I go. So yeah, I like taking games with me anywhere. Xbox One S is starting to get less expensive as well. Well, sort of. But hey, on the bright side, the used ones aren't that expensive. So yeah, I'll give them that. Or alternatively, if you want to play this game all by yourself without mommy or daddy telling you to share your Switch, get a Switch Lite instead. Look at these prices. They're less expensive than the Switch itself and the real consoles. So yeah, my opinion, I'm going to do a whole video on why I love the Switch Lite in a later date. So yeah, my opinion, I think Marvel's Avengers is... Uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. By Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 3 is way better than Marvel's Avengers. But the best part about this game that really does put a smile on my face. The guy that voices Spider-Man and the other guy that voices Miles in Spider-Man PS4 and PS5. Both Yuri and the Miles Morales, Miles Morales voice actor play as these two in this game. So yeah, that is the closest, close enoughest I can get to Spider-Man on the Nintendo Switch. And hey... <laughs> Even they have Logan in this game. So yeah, this game has all, all, all the Marvel characters you want. And you don't have to buy a stinking expansion for them. So yeah, I'll get this game instead of Marvel's Avengers. Or get Marvel's Avengers on your PC. So yeah. Ooh. <laughs> No, that's what I'm talking about. That is so cool. How much does this cost? I might think about buying it. That is so cool. <laughs> Let's see how much it costs. Maybe I might think about getting it eventually and... Never mind. Okay, I'll just do it to the Raimi suit. Hope you guys liked this little video. Subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next video.